Grappa, grappa, Miss Ali and Nard White Real Godfather, so please subscribe As I watch a video, I have to do it every time Share with my friends, comment, like Rapa grappa, the struggle is alive Call the intellect so the damn thing connect, right? What's up my beautiful people, how are you guys doing? Big up on yourself and I hope each and every one of you are having a beautiful and a blessed Sunday now You understand? Ever have to give thanks now You don't know the struggle is real, but watch ya You don't know the love should be real People this issue, boy, I may tell you, it seems like it's an ongoing one. You understand? First of all, I would like to say, big up Street Driven TV. You see what I say? Because Street Driven TV bring to light the issue with Delano and his family. You understand? And may I tell you, people, they also come with a next video now with the mother because whole well, people out there um, a mistake Alex for Street Driven TV. Now, in my first vlog, in the first vlog I did about this situation, I clarify everything to you guys. I bet you guys know, so watch, you know, Alex and Street Driven TV are two different persons. Most of you guys see the viral video from Street Driven TV. No. When Street Driven TV put out the video, there was no contact information and no contact details for the family. You understand? Alex is also a schoolmate. Of the line. But at that point, he never knows so that the struggle is real upon the family. So, when the video went viral and him see it, he was the first one bring some information about the family and as to how people can contact the family and make people know so that he's from the same community and he also have contact with the family. And that's where his charity work began. You understand? Because him start link with the people, link with the family, start link with the public, and the public them start link with him, send any little thing, any information them want. You understand? And at that point, he make sure say everything transparent. You see me? I say, people, you know my thing going on. Me not support foolishness and nonsense now. So you see, if my face are you thought there, I try to scam the public their money, me I go have a problem with that. Because honesty to me is the best policy. And we can't broke the people in meds from support the people in the country who need the support. And a whole lot of people that Jamaica we want the strength and we need certain support. And if all of us can come together and throw one one coke and fill up a basket, why not do it? So you know, say me no support. No one trying to scam the public. But one time I dig and I look into the issue and I realize, say, boy, because me, when I was trying to make contact after the carpenters, I must say, boy, rapper, we need a link with the family, Arto Delano. Alex was the person I find. I saw come to link with Alex now and start talking to him and start getting all the information that we need and stuff like that. You see me? So, I don't like how the thing had turned and the try to make the youth look like scammer after the youth put in so much work. It look away, people. It look away. And... I can't sit down here and see the youth trying best and them are tarnish the youth like that. You see me and say, some of them people, or some of the vlog of them, them just see the story and run with it. So they never go do them homework to make sure them know the grassroots everything. So some of them mix up street driven TV with Alex. Once again, no, Alex is not street driven TV. Alex is the first person. I, he was the first line of contact then, put it like that. You understand? He was the first contact, direct contact towards the family. As he know them. I know of the learner from school and them things. But anyhow, maybe we can get into this video and then we can talk a bit more. Do you know this young man in the picture? Yes, sir, I know him. Who is he, miss? His name is Alex Olake and he lives at... Was he the, the individual that, that did your interview for Street Driven TV? No, sir. He was not the one who did it. So, what is the what is the connection with, 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 with this person? Yeah, and my son is a schoolmate from primary school. Until Geisel High School, but he got expelled. Because he him not behaving himself is... He's giving himself a lot of trouble in school. Do you know of him having a, having a charity? That's the first thing. 
You name the Afif put that night. You yeah, try to make the youth look away, which is not good. No one asks if he get expelled from school, so lady, you shouldn't put that in it again. You yeah, try to mash up the youth with re reputation and character right there, so. You understand? That's not good. Not and since he came around here, I didn't know that much about him. So when he came around him, mommy, what he wanted to do? He said he wanted to give us a three-bedroom house with bathroom and kitchen. Because I have something where he charity when he's saying he have. You know how people send him money to him? Yes, sir. Um, my niece called me yesterday and said her mom has a good friend in New York and she said money over 300, over 300 US dollars to, to his account. So what's, 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 what's the situation with you and him now? Um, he's making a lot of problems because people calling me and saying if he's not Alex account the money going to them now send the money to no school account because the school are thief. Alright, this is no people who don't know nothing said. Alright. Alex start the thing for me I say, you know people say. If me I work with you directly and you are come to me and say, boy, I'm going to send money to school or send money to government or stuff like that. Me not going to do that. You understand? The first thing I go ask, where was the school all this time? Them know so the youth have, have this struggle. Where were they? So all oh, them never come together and try to reach out to the public or reach out to the government or to somebody to get some help for the family. So nobody not going to really, really want to send them money to the school. You see me? I say, and this is the thing there. And the money with them I call it up, I go see a, a, a penny of, of it. The school, them I go take it for yourself. Wishing where it is not like that. Because more time, me can go up there with the principal that was there first and say, Miss Davis, you know, so I don't have anything to give my kids them today. She said, sit down in my office and wait till we come back. If she not have in her purse, she just go up to the talk shop and you will see she come with a little package. And she will give me cash to buy anything else me need. And it's the same thing with Mr. Cecil Donald. Because he was the one who gave me the money to open the personal account for the learner. Basically what he's saying about the school is, is lies. Very much. Very much. He's, it, what he's saying about the school is not true. I would like to thank Jamaica and the world for their help. But I'm also asking you not to send any more money to Alex Olaker because he is not authorized to collect any money on my behalf. There is two accounts. One, Scotia Bank, 37419 Branch, number 7018. And that, is, that account is by the Geisel High School. The other one is JN Savings 2094607728 and the account holder is Delano Tucker. So those are the two accounts that is authorized to that that is authorized for the money to go to. So please don't send any more to Alex Old Acre. Well we know see, at this moment, Alex, step away from the whole thing. And he also clarified that on his TikTok and in, in various videos and, and also on various platforms that he's no longer a part of the project. So no one should even think about sending any more money his way. You understand? Because the bad press and everything we are going on, even of the mother, deny him. And you see me saying in, in step away from it. So now, earlier them asked if they know of the, the youth with any charity. Right now, me as a rapper crapper, me don't have middle register my charity as yet. Me should do because it's even beneficial for me to get even um support from big company because it's register. How social media stay nowadays? Influencer do more for the community than most of these organized charities. You understand? Because somebody will contact me because I'm in a dire street. Somebody must contact me but yes still I might see a video go around. With somebody in a certain stress, financial problem, or 
medical call problem or whatsoever. Me decide to offer my help and my support. You understand? To help that person. For them to get some funds. If them have a bank account, if them have a phone number, sometimes you might collect it because they don't have a way of collect it. Sometimes you might send it to them directly. But influencers do more charity for the community more than any other charitable organization where register are well known. No. An influencer more trustworthy than them because the influencer I make you know what your money do because they might come with the receipt and everything. Every money what them get, them write down the people them name, then write down the amount of the people them send and when them don't do what they do, them come back online and them read out every name. So they can't grow on the thing. Those big registered organizations, once you send them money, go give them, it done this up. So them easier to scam and rob people more than the influencers them. Where I help the people in the community and also do charity for the people in the community. You understand? So one time them said, boy, do you know he was doing any charity? No, he wasn't doing any charity before. But he saw a schoolmate of him in a, a, a situation... And he feels say boy, he want to help and show some support. And that's what he did. Until the family start receive help from the government. Then they switch. And make it look like he wasn't doing nothing. Even though me, me, me have some picture on my phone. When they, they might get some big hundred thousand. They might get some hundred and fifty thousand. All of them there is there. Everything... <laughs> Everything recorded, all the proof is there. Now, if me the think that this youth ya I do something wrong, me da come and burn some, me da burn a bag of fire upon him. If me the think that this youth that try scam the people, me da burn a bag of fire upon him. But the way how some media outlet out there as well is doing, them make they look, they look bad. Mister one is there, say, oh youth a big scammer, and him and some other scammer come in, come cause big problem. I mean, I say, come on, man. I know say some of the people like them do shit for views, but come on, man. Jeez. Anyhow, finish watch. This is Alex Olaker, and he is not Straight Driven TV. He did not do my interview. Drink so for those of you who have been wondering who's the man behind the car, his name is Levan Rainford, and he's the one sitting right beside me, and he is the, the real owner of the Straight Driven TV channel. And I know that most of you have already seen the headline that says my mother this street drum. That is not true because if my mother did this him, all on Jamaican and who oh, know Jamaican know say sorry this year, you're not gonna hear them. So if my mother did this him, the right is to sell inside them at the moment. To all bloggers out there that are publicizing my story, I want to thank you. But there are a few who are misleading the public with the wrong information and Causing problems, please. I'm asking you to stop. Like all this headline that says, Delana Tucker mother, this street of wicked. I don't understand that that's not true. No, not, no, that is not at all true. My mother never did not street driven. And all some say MPA send police to pay street driven TV because he did this to Delano. Some of them, I mean, if you stop them, something here, man, because that's not, you know, right. I understand to, I don't want a story, but at least get the right information. Which is true. And the man who posted the law took out to the world got stabbed. Someone need to stop them something, man, because this, this is not right. The other thing is if, if, if one good headline did it, it would have been good enough, but all, most of them headlines we me meet up on. No, I'm not true. Well, Delana just say is one hundred percent right, one hundred percent correct. Some of own for the better. You understand? And the video where the youth gets stabbed it was a whole old video. You understand? And it's also have something to do with a family member and people eventually rush him. It not nothing to do with this now. And I don't like to somebody to investigate and know. I something what the youth put on them TikTok for time. But as me said, some of these vloggers them don't give a damn about the situation. Them only want to know so them can put a headline. Where well, the headline can grab people's attention to get the views. Clickbait. You understand? That's what they are about. 
But the real one, them also out oh, there to keep the thing real and down to out and official. I'm a beautiful people, as I say. Um, I'm not uploading to Rapper Crapper YouTube channel at the moment. All my new upload is on Rapper Crapper TV. So, no, Rapper Crapper TV, that is for my foreign vlog. You understand my, my natural vlog. So, check that out as well. But all my new vlog uploads. Aaron Rapper Crapper Vlog 2. So subscribe to this channel as well, my beautiful people. You don't know the struggle is real. And also, share the video as well too, so people can get the realness of what really went down. And check out my channel for the rest of the video where I highlight and outline everything about this situation. You see me and say, the struggle is real. Blessed love, this is Lucian of the Messenger, inviting everyone to all nations. Come and get your portions. Yeah. 8 Sanjanam Road. Be there, see you, be there, be there. Good cooking, good cuisine, lots of love, hospitality, all nations. Come get your portions. Anyhow, you feel like the boy, you'd like to try some vegan or you're a vegan lover? This is the art spot where they have some delicious menu. You can also check out their five stars reviews. And their Facebook page. They're open from Monday to Saturday. Go and check them out. No, go and show some love and enjoy some nice vegan food. The address is 8 Sanjinam Road, Dalston, London, E8 2LP. 